You're a publicist. He went over to Muhammad and said, can I get a little time with you? And on occasion, he would say, I can't do it today, but come tomorrow. And when I finish training, I'll pose. And as I said, he would tell me I had 20 minutes and I would have an hour at least if I needed it. But I took a different, there are many, many pose sessions. I'm gonna show you a few of them and I'll tell you one story about what it was like posing Muhammad Ali. Okay, now this picture is really important because this is again from the very first session that I ever shot Ali. You see the, the light in the upper right, very upper right corner. Uh, that's one of my strobe lights. It was my backlight, really. And particularly, uh, you can see the side light and backlight, particularly with black athletes against the dark background, you wanted to make sure that you have enough light to separate them. So I had my lights set up, and long before Muhammad got to the studio, I had tested. I had a black assistant who, about the same skin tone as Muhammad, and you would test even run a test for all the color, just to be sure that by the time the champ got there, you weren't gonna waste his time trying to figure out how to light the frame. Everything I did was tested, but I had never met Ali one-on-one -on -one before, so I had no idea what he was like. And what Muhammad was like was very simple. All he needed to really have fun was an audience of one. Unless you could lock the room and keep everybody out, but Muhammad, he was going to entertain. So he came into the studio, and as I think I told you, I looked about 14 years old then, and Muhammad came in with Herbert Muhammad, who had just become his manager, and two or three entourage members. And he was going to give them a good show. So I told him I needed him to put on the gloves and trunks, and he brought out a uh, little bag that he brought with him, and he had some white Everless trunks that he rolled up into a little ball. They were all creased, and they would have made an awful cover. And of course he had the wrong boxing gloves, they weren't fighting gloves, they were training gloves. But I knew that was a possibility. I had photographed other boxers other than Ali before. So I presented him with the right gloves and the right trunks, and he puts them on, and I had marked the position he's supposed to stand in for my picture. And the session went something like this. Muhammad sat down, stood, stood in the position, and what we would do is you take a Polaroid picture, first, just to be certain that all the testing you had done was correct. You would take two minutes, but it took 60 seconds for the Polaroid to develop. And I, it's, you're using the same camera, same exposure, everything is exactly the same, but you can see that it's gonna be perfect when you've got the Polaroid. Muhammad gets into position, and I'm ready to shoot my first Polaroid, and he jumps off the spot, and they get the field. To get the picture shot, I couldn't have him moving very much. He had to stay right where I wanted him. And he looks up and he points to the light behind me. And he says to Herbert Muhammad, he said, Herbert, he's a kid. You think he knows what he's doing? And he points to my light that was behind him and he said, what's that? And I said, oh, well, champ, uh, that's, that's my back light. And he said, you ever hear of Richard Avedon? Richard Avedon was one of the world's great and best known photographers. And I said, yes sir, of course I've heard of Richard Avedon. And he said, well we were with him yesterday, he didn't have one of those things. What do you think, Herbert, does this guy know what he's doing? I said, Jim, why don't you just stand where I told you to stand, let me take a picture, I'll show you, and we'll see. He gets back into position, and before I could click the shutter, he's jumped off again, and he points to my front, I was using umbrella lights, they call them, and he looks at, he said, Herbert, it's not raining in here, is it? He's got umbrellas. He said, what's that? And then he says to me, did you ever hear Yosef Karsh? Yosef Karsh was probably the most famous portrait photographer in history. Uh, every president, every pope, the queen had posed for Yosef Karsh, and Ali had just been photographed by Karsh. And he said to me, we were with Karsh. He didn't have umbrellas. I said, would you just stand still for a minute, please, champ, and I'll show you what I'm doing. And I think he got to Gordon Parks before he finally let me take a picture. I took the picture, and you have to wait 60 seconds. You pull the Polaroid out, and then it takes, well, you know, obviously, you saw the size differential between us. I'm now in a tug of war, because Ali is trying to grab the Polaroid. He's gonna look at it himself. And I said, champ, just 60, didn't take Avedon 60 seconds. I said, just give me 60 seconds. And I, um, you, you, you 
attempt to separate the Polaroid from the negative, and Ali grabbed it out of my hand before I could barely look at it. And he's looking at it, and he starts smiling. And he says, this is really good. Hey, look at this, Herbert. Maybe this kid does know what he's doing. And then he looked at me, and I will never forget this. And the rest of my sessions with him always went something like this. He'd look at me, and he looked at the picture, and he said, this is really good. He said, but then again, how can you miss with a subject like me? And that was the <laughs> beginning of my post sessions with Muhammad. So here are a couple of the others. This was done for, a, was going to be part of a preview cover. I photographed him and I photographed Sunday Liston when they were training for the second flight. This actually ran on the cover of Sports Illustrated. This was a preview to the Jimmy Ellis fight. And this, my favorite portrait, this was done in a session. You saw me, the black and white picture I started off with that showed Ali uh, being photographed by another photographer. When my turn came, this is one of the pictures I took that day. It was, it's a particular favorite of Muhammad's wife, Lonnie. And this wow. is a, another picture from the session. And by the way, the sweat that he, that's all stuff I put on him. He, he, it was air conditioned, he was just fine. I think the Fifth Street gym was air conditioned. I really don't remember, but I know he wasn't sweating. So that's, you have to be bold enough to spritz him, even if the water's cold. Uh, I once had Larry Holmes say, you get some warm water, I'll knock you out. <laughs> because the water was freezing. Wow. When Ali fought in Zaire, uh, I think that uh, Mabudu gave him two robes. And we...